Hey chaps, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Last time, we tried stealing something from the palace, and in fact we did actually succeed, in a fashion. But then it all went to hell. Fran and Balthea introduced themselves, and we crashed down in the sewers and now we've got to escape. So, uh, we also learned about gambits last time, so that's fantastic. Now the combat will be less of a chore. Uh, I just want to quickly make sure we've equipped all the best stuff. I'm pretty sure uh, we have an extra head guard that we could give to either Balthea or Fran. Um, probably going to just give that to Balthea for now. And I'm also going to quickly... I oh know. Points-wise, I think we're okay. Um, I'm going to swap to Balthea. He's going to be the leading man now. And rightly so. He comes with a gun, which... As far as I'm aware, they don't, uh, do they negate defense, but they're pretty random in the damage? That could be what it is, I don't know. Fran's got a bow, and I've made her an archer, so that's appropriate. Uh, and we just gotta get through the sewers. And I, mu I must apologize again, I just seem to, all the way through winter, every now and then, like every few days, just get a flare-up of a cold, then it goes away. Then it comes back, then it goes away, and then it... it uh, it's just... It's a bloody nightmare. And as you can see, Fran and Varn both started to attack the thing once they knew Balthea was attacking, because he's the party leader. Um, and I'm just going to be controlling Balthea for now, because he is the coolest dude in the fucking world. <laughs> At least I think guns are random damage. I know. Oh, then again, so are axes, aren't they? In this game. Oh my god, don't listen to me. I may sound like I know what I'm on about, but I really don't. I really don't. Uh, right. Now, just gotta have our wits about us here. There's gonna be. Mostly just bats and rats again, but... I seem to remember there being newer enemies towards the end of this place. Shouldn't be a problem, though. I mean, come on. It's the beginning of the game still. It's not as if, you know, you could die and get a game over in, like, the first three videos. Nah, it ain't happening. Feel sorry for anyone who's who's been shit enough to, to do that. I mean, come on. Now, yeah, I did mention, I think, that I could have set up a gambit for Varn to be stealing from enemies, but the problem is, uh, if you, like, say, we have a gambit here for Varn, and let's say, foe any, we put steel, wherever it is. Now, the game, unfortunately, doesn't know when to stop stealing, because you can only steal one item, of course, and once you get it, Vaughn will continue to steal because any foe is is game for him. So unless you have a gambit that says like foe 100% health or something a little bit different, it can it's just you might as well just steal manually. Or at least that's my opinion. Others might you know prefer to have him just steal over and over, but uh, I don't think it's worth it really. So. We won't be doing it. Oh, a leather breastplate. I say. Is that any good? Why am I going in head thingy? What the fuck am I doing? Uh, well, it's more defense. And Fran can equip it. More HP. I guess everyone will be able to equip it. Yeah, I'm going to give that to Fran, though. Old Franny. Need to find some accessories, that's what we need. Although I can't think of the name Fran without uh, you know, dinosaurs, the uh the puppet sitcom. Disney Channel. Oh man, not the mama. Well, that's that's one of my childhood favourites, but Fran was the mother, and I cannot think of the name. In fact, someone at work, when I when I still work there, of course, 
they had a Fran, uh, a Fran called Wife, no, a wife called Fran, and whenever they said, oh, me and Fran just went to the cinema last night, I just pictured him sat there with a big fucking dinosaur in, like, a, an apron. Ah, uh, good times. Where am I going? Alright, we're doing okay. Wait a goddamn minute. Yeah, we are. No, I think we've we've explored everywhere. Yeah, these sewers. A bit of a freaking labyrinth of shit and piss. Uh, which way do we want to go? Yeah, we'll check out this way first. And I keep on forgetting Balthier will actually just attack things automatically now. Which is just... It just saves you some time, and I know people complain that it's too hands-off then, you know, but you can turn your gambit off. If you want to be manually inputting a bunch of stuff, like basic stuff, like attack, you can turn your gambits off, but leave everyone else's on. Or you could even just turn gambits off completely for everyone and make the fights, like, the slowest things ever. But, uh, I, I don't... I don't really mind it. I like... Oh, there's nothing this way, really. You shitting me, game! There's nothing here. I wonder if a chest could have spawned. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Um, just gotta keep an eye... Uh, hang on. Does Fran... have the cure spell? Because I know in the original... She does! She does have some white magic, so... Fucking hell. Why don't I have that as a gambit? Oh my god, oh my bloody hell. Ally, less than 8 HP, 70%. Get that on the go, please. Um, I'll have, actually, I'll do that first. First aid, she's probably never going to freaking use it. It's more useful for people that don't have the cure spell, but... Anywho, there she goes, see? She's already doing some healing, and that is a godsend. Right, so I'm gone. Keep losing me bloody way here. Right, we're going the we're going the right way. Ooh, yep, new enemies. What have we got? Uh, a gigantoad. Ooh, gigantoads. I wonder if Vaughn wants to be stealing from that. He probably won't steal anything on the first attempt because he's shit. Oh no, he got a horn. Well done, Vaughn. Well done, my boy. Now, the advantage with having uh, a gun user and <clears throat> an archer at the moment, although I guess these enemies don't technically count as flying enemies, but later in the game, flying enemies, you really just can't hit them with melee. I, d I think it's actually impossible unless you have a ranged weapon. At least I seem to remember that being the case. Ooh, chesticles. A pair of chesticles. That have nothing of... That great an item, uh, great, whatever. Uh, da, 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 da. So, Fran, attacking from a distance. Ooh, nicely blocked, Barthia. How did you manage that without a shield? But yeah, much better XP from those guys. <coughs> and yeah, I do apologize if I start coughing or sneezing. My bad. Oh, this place is a bit of a pain because there is a bunch of enemies crowded together. Yeah. <laughs> but we really shouldn't be struggling because Fran will heal us. She's got enough MP. Yeah. Right there she goes. Yeah. Curing Balthia. Yeah. See, I made that into a little song. Alright guys, let's speed this up a little bit. This bat's getting on my fucking tits. There we go. Um, oh, hang on, we've got an enemy very close to us somewhere. Oh, it's another fucking bat. What is this way? A chest over there. How do we get to that? Oh, and a chest. Chests everywhere, man! 
drowning in chesticles, but it's just pissy little money. I was under the impression that you could get the Mage Masher in this area, but I, I don't know, I completely couldn't find anything in my guidebook saying that, so maybe I was just bullshitting. Which wouldn't be the first time, and it will not be the last. Let's grab these chests. Oh, hello. Well, that's something different. An oaken pole. Now, mostly I think monks use oaken poles. Well, poles in general. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to equip that with anyone. Probably not. So, I'm not going to even try. I must remember I'm not playing the original. And a potion. Um, was there anything... No. Right. I think we have that much longer in this area. Come on, there's got to be some chests around here with some really nice goodies. I mean, I'll take an oaken pole, but I'm not actually sure who I want to make a monk yet. Ah, oh, save crystal. Right. Could be some shit about to go down, guys. That's usually the case. Catch her. That's how shit he is. She's not alone. Our ranks grow by the hour. And our troubles with them. You're damn right, Balthier. No one has time for this shit. Why are they down here anyway? How did they do they track her into the sewers? How did she get down here? Probably a much easier way than we did. Um so she is actually just fighting on her own there. I'm I don't know who she is. No idea. Nice, easy fight. In fact, let's just weaken. Let's get rid of that dude first. Who the hell does she cast a? Was that? Was that her? That was like a dark spell. You all right? Thank you. Um, I'm Vaughn. And this is Balthier, and... Hey! What's your name? Amalia. Amalia, huh? Nice to meet you. There were others with me. I'm sorry. No. Huh? Oh. Now, isn't that impressive? Don't get any ideas. I said it's mine. I'm afraid the jury's still out on that one. You stole that? Yeah. Have you finished? When the guards don't report in, they'll come looking for us. If they aren't already. You should come with us. Better than being by yourself. Very well. What's wrong with her? She changed the tune. You have a lot to learn before we even get started on your thievery. What's oh. that mean? We don't have enough time to go into that, Vaughn. You're just, you're just terrible. You're just a terrible person. I know you said you saved Amalia by catching her, but I mean, it's not that big of a drop. I'm pretty sure she would have been fine. Um, but yeah, she's actually going to be joining us as a guest. The situation requires I accept such help as I find, though it be from thieves. I shall accompany you until we find my companions, no longer. Let's think of her as a guest, then. There you go. Unlike Fran or myself, our guest probably won't be taking orders from anyone anytime soon. And she'll leave when she pleases. So we keep to our affairs and she to hers. I doubt we'll find her wanting in Valor, being such an upstanding member of the insurgents. Resistance. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh, <laughs> it's 
Semantics. Right. Well, what are we waiting for? And she's actually going to be pretty useful because she will be healing us as well. She has some white magic, I'm sure. Um, Amalia, eh? So, yeah, we can... <clears throat> in this version of the game, you can actually control her. Whereas in the original, you could not control guests. Um, she's got a sword. She looks badass. I like her outfit. It's quite, uh, quite snazzy. Got a shield as well. Look at that, guys. She can use shields. You could learn a thing or two. So, uh, I'm not going to control her, though, for now. We'll go back to Balthea. Um, actually, I might just stick with Fran for a little bit. We've not seen Fran, and I like running around as Fran, because she's like 70 foot tall. And she's just, she's cool. I like Fran. I'm a big fan of Fran. Right, uh, was there anything this way? Nope. Let's just go. Now, can you actually change the gambits of your guest? Well, I guess you can. Oh, that's nice. So, as you can see, less than 50% HP and she'll cure. And nearest visible, that's fine. Ah, now I think we are about to be set upon. It's a big open area. Usually means one thing. Oh, big puddles of shit. Uh, guys. Oh no, it's a ceiling dangler. Ugh. Oh, a bunch of flans. Right. Not sure. Oh, we have, yeah, we do have the fire speller. Are these going to be weak against fire? They are. Who has Libra? Oh, Amalia has Libra. Right, okay, so that's how we can tell. 390 HP. Weak against fire, so get cast in, Fran. Old Franny. Oh, yeah, that's some nice damage. Unfortunately, that means they will aggro. <laughs> and this is the, uh, this is actually, I think, the boss theme. You know what? I think it would be better for them to have a gambit for the party leader target. Kill him a little bit quicker. Uh, well, she can do what she wants, I guess. Party leader. Yeah, alright, that's fine. But yeah, any command you issue will override any gambits you have, so you just got to be careful. <clears throat> Careful. My god, I really am feeling rough as a badger's ass. Fuck off. Stop hitting Fran. What's she ever done to you? That shit. And I could be stealing from them with... Uh, Vaughn, actually, now that I think about it. In fact, Fran can steal as well. Maybe she'll do a better job. Yeah, she's still a potion. There we go. I just find the fights in this game really fun. Especially the boss fights and the marks and things like, you know, enemies that are a little bit tougher. Ugh, that is disgusting. Ugh. And the victory theme, yes, it is in this game. Congratulations. You beat a bunch of shit.
and everyone just stands there looking epic. Vaughn with his little purse, I don't know. Oh, nice. Get healing Franny Franny. Um, I think I'll swap back to Bath here now. Um, oh, yep, a chest. So, which way did we come in again? Oh, yeah. Another dark moat. Oh, hey. Just jumping out of nowhere. Oh yeah, I just about to say, I remember there being ghosts in this place. Weak against holy, but we don't have any... any holy weapons or magic or anything yet. Got a dark stone. Ooh, more new enemies. Garchimacera? Oh my god. Or Garchimacera? Weak against water anyway, but we don't have any water shit either, so... It's just a case of shooty-shooty, stabby-stabby. Can't really see what's going on there, Balthier. Sweet. And a demon eyeball. Wonderful. Always wanted one of them. A soleil fang. We had one of them before. No. Deal fire damage to all foes in range. Oh, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Would have been more handy when we were fighting the flans, but whatever. And as well as me having a cold, by the way, guys, I'm pretty sure my dog has as well, because he's just had a big old sniffle. Oh, it's just that time of year, isn't it? Usually I get sick in, like, October. Oh, sleeping froggy. Let's wake him up, shall we? Let's wake him up. Nicely done. Gill, another chest over there. More floating demon things. I want a bow gun. Don't think anyone can equip that. Although maybe that will be for Pinello when we get her back. Because I am thinking of. Oh no, wait a minute. I was going to make Balthea the time mage. Who can use bow guns anyway? Yeah, it is, t it is time mages that can use crossbows, so... At least, at least that's something. I just can't wait to get some new weapons for people, huh? A ghost just appears out of nowhere. Great. Oh, this speed-up feature is amazing. I've got a glass jewel. Amalia is inflicted with blindness. Um, we probably could set up a gambit to deal with that, but it's... Uh... Oh yeah, blind. we've got blind there, of course. Right, gambits. Fran. Ah, we'll get rid of first stage. She's never going to use that. Never going to use that. Um, just any ally, whatever. Blindner, please. Where is it? So, she should heal it now. Yep, there we go. Oh, I, t I love the Gambit system so much. Right, let's check around this corner. 
absolute... Oh, how do you get that chest down there, then? Oh, that's from a different area. Actually, no, I think that's where we were before with Vaughn. That's where we started that way. Right, I get it. Oh, get it. You think? Any chests? Yep. Just got to check everywhere. Ooh, 262 gil. We have a record breaker. And I think we're about to enter the main sort of hub area of the sewers. Yeah, there's a bunch of switches here that unlock different areas, but at the moment we can't do anything with them. But we will be back. Eventually. And another save crystal, because we may have another big fight coming. So, although I think we can't really change our setup that much. Um, we do have some more points, though, to spend. So let's get some additional Gambit shit. Um... I'll get you that. <clears throat> ah, now, yeah, plus HP licenses. They are kind of cool. It's a bit more of a chance, won't it? Um, it's alright for now. Um, what else do you have? Oh, wow, so, yeah, there's the Zodiac Spear. But I don't believe it's the best weapon in the game anymore. Fires of War. Now, that is uh, that is what you call a quickening, or basically a limit break. However, sometimes, well, most often, they connect to these sorts of... Uh, well, they basically... Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So, this is an example. Fires of War. Um, you unlock that, and you can use these black magic spells. However, if you spend... You know, if you get them from other areas of the board, you can lose access to these things. So you just got to be careful. Uh, I really am butchering all the fucking explanations in this game, Fran. Old Franny. I think we'll get you that. That would be useful for you, considering you're mostly our magic user right now. And swiftness. Reduce action time by 10%. Yes, please. Absolutely. And uh, I think I'm happy with that. Well, we can't spend any more with Fran anyway. Right, let us go. And in fact... Uh, no, I think we'll stick with Balthier. Holy crap. Oh my lord. It's the fire main. Yes, in the sewers there is a fucking magical fire horse. Uh, and I believe this is the area that we were defeating the rats with Varn. I could be wrong though, but I'm guessing this is it. Um, so, we're gonna try... Oh, Balthier can steal as well. Well, Varn, you're just not special anymore. Right, we have... Libra on it, so level 7, 3,571 HP, weak against water, again, not much use to us right now, because we can't fucking do anything, um, but we're just going to try and steal, don't know if it has anything really, just a potion, there you go, right, so I'm going to keep our, my distance <clears throat> with as many people as I can, so Fran and Balthier hopefully should avoid some of its nastier attacks. This is definitely the boss theme. Ooh, bushfire, yep, yeah, this is the, this is a bad one. This could hurt. So, luckily, Vaughn took the brunt of that. He's easy to heal. Just gotta watch Fran's uh, MP more than anything. 
So it's a case of just monitoring the fight and just interfering as you see fit. If you've set up your gambits right, you shouldn't have to do much at all. Because this is really the first boss of the game. So it's not going to be too tough. He's casting fire. That's alright. Oh, and he teleports occasionally. Balthida definitely is avoiding this. Yep. Ooh. Malia is poisoned. You know what? I don't have a gambit for that, but I'm going to cure her manually. There you go. And uh, just continue on. Last third of its health. No major worries. Vaughn is tanking it like a champion. Oh. Gotta stay away from it. Arthur and Fran standing together. Doo -doo -doo. This is an epic track, though. Proper fight for your lives kind of music. And he's down. Piece of piss. Oh, his legs are shaking. Can you imagine if that thing, like, spawned when Vaughn was fighting the rats? That would have been hilarious. I would have enjoyed watching that. Stand where you are. Oh, fuck. Oh, look who it is. Now's not the time. 